Because you are confused. Again, Jules fans, welcome back to the latest episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It is Saturday afternoon, it is just before 2 pm, and it is myself and Ava currently on match day live duty. Unfortunately, Boz is not fit, so he's unavailable today as Stephen Clements takes charge of his first home league game against Salford City. I think a side that have probably got better players than their current position of 15th shows, so we know this is going to be a tough task. It's the first week that Stephen's had on the training ground with the players without a midweek game. So fingers crossed we start to see some signs of the tweaks and the changes to the way that we want to play and this new direction that we was all told about about six weeks ago. Uh, no team news just yet, uh, but the club's tweet that Scott Malone is visiting the new club shop would indicate that he's perhaps not available for selection today, which would be a bit of a blow. But me and myself and Ava are going to get out. We're going to walk to the ground. She is armed with a new autograph book. We're going to try and get some signatures and we will bring you Team News as soon as we have it. Nearly at the ground now and Team News has just been announced for Jules and there are three changes from last Saturday's defeat at Wrexham. Out of the 11 come Scott Malone injured, uh, Jaden Clark to the bench, McCauley Bond to the bench. So the Jules team in full looks like a 4-1-4-1 or a 4-2-3-1 with Jake Turner in goal, Shay Alexander at right back, the centre back pairing of Connor Masterson and Shadrach Ovi. And it'd be Max Clark stepping in at left back in the place of Malone. And it looks like it's a variation of a three of Ethan Coleman, Dom Jeffries and George Lapsley in the middle of the park. And it looks like it'd be Johnny Williams captain in the side today, Connor Mahoney from the sides and Tom Nichols back in as the number nine. Strong bench for the Jules. Ashley Nadderson returns to the squad, along with others on there. Glenn Morris, Max Emer, Sean Williams, uh, Jaden Clark, Macaulay Bond, and Timmy Dieng. Going to be a tough game, we know that. Spoke to Danny from the One Up Top podcast during the week. It's going to be a tough game, we know they score goals, but they will give up chances. But my little help today, Ava, what's the score going to be? 2-1. Who's going to score? Love that. We'll see you in the ground. Luke, who I think is quite excited about today's change of personnel in the lineup. Yeah, well, hopefully, uh, most of the second players we've had in the pitch will carry on. Johnny Williams, who's actually hopefully they use the great league again, uh, giving a nice squad of Mahoney as well. We've got some stability on each other, which is like, yeah, being the only holding midfielder. He's up to the task, and like I said, the back off. It's not to worry as much as what's going forward. Someone's got to take the ball by the horns and really spend their pace to the side because it's going to keep rotating until we start scoring the goal. Really, 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 really. On that note, score prediction. I'm going to go for 2-1. Nichols, George Lapsley. Over. Nichols, George Lapsley. Luke just said 2-1. Nichols and Lapsley. Nichols and Lapsley. Liam and Martin have come to say hello before kick-off. Boys, what are we thinking in terms of score prediction today? Two nil goal scorers. Both or Nichols both like that. Three one two. Well, what three in a go? You're right. Yeah. You're not letting you have a beer. Yeah. Who's scoring? I reckon Nadison is the one and Tom one. Off the bench, yeah. yeah. Nice. Enjoy the game, boys. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now I've got Joey and Jake and telling me how many we're going to win by today, boys. What's the score going to be? 2-0. Goal scorers? Lots of special messages for Jules fans. First of all, happy birthday to Oliver, for Jules. who's Pegasus yeah, give me some of that. number one. So the players have finished the war. The Jules! side to side and backwards and they put balls into the box and we defended it fairly well. Matt Smith's won a couple of flick-ons. Tapping wise, not too much from us yet. Small signs of what we're trying to do from the back, but it's just that same problem when we get into the final third. But still goal is still well in the game. Best chance of the game and it's gone so far twice. It's a great block from Colin Masterson. Really good play. Garbutt got an inside channel. Looks like for the world it's going. It's a brilliant sliding tackle. Call us all. Go on Johnny. It's good ball. Where's that gone? It's on Nichols. Come on, honey. Shifted. Side's allowed to cross it into the box again. And Matt Smith's got a run on his centre half. Runs between, I think, Shadrach Ogie and Max Clark and plants a header inside the far post. And Jake Turner gets a bit of a hand on it. He's never keeping it out. And that's frustrating. We just had half chance just before then. 37 played, one each. Go to the left. So yeah, in that sense, there's certainly been signs. Obviously, it's not going to be 
wholesale change just yet. But yeah, good from our point of view, a really good goal from Conor Mahoney. Yeah, again, doesn't yeah, do tap-ins really for that, does he? Really well worked. Well, uh, oh, 39, that puts the Mahoney star well away. Well, well, the under sevens of the league. 2-1. The players have got a bit more freedom, but it's, it's going to take time. Yeah. There's been a few you know, loose balls and stuff like that. Like, oh, right, right. Still 2-1. But I think as long as the fans stay patient and you know, don't get sick and tired of the ball going from side to side to side and not always going forward, then, you know, Oh, well done. So that's 3-1 now to the other side. So, and the right side is here. Like Williams, Lapsley and, and Ethan Coleman. They would have to take care of them. Excuse me. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a positive one so far. Final, it's 3-2. Coming towards the rain in the second half, hopefully we can go on and grab all three points. Jill should lead. Brilliant from Johnny Williams initially and Max Clark. Ball to the back post. Conor Mahoney knows he can't do much and head it back into a danger area. Tom Nichols in between his two centre halves. He's headed over from about seven yards. Chance. Come on, Johnny. Shadow he just switches off a little bit. The three one on one Turner makes a good save and then gets up, blocks the second one and falls on it. In the two, uh, the second minute of seven added on, Jules should see it out fairly comfortably. Just got back in the car after today's game at the Priestfield and it's finished. <coughs> Gillingham 3, Salford City 1. First half, I thought we didn't see a lot of the ball, did we? And I said to Stocky at half-time and he said the same thing, that there were positive signs, there were tweaks and changes that Stephen Clements had tried to implement in that full week on the training pitch. But ultimately, we didn't pick up Matt Smith enough. Could have got him behind, to be fair, when he had that chance right at the end of the first period. Luckily, that header, from our point of view, drifted wide at the far post. But second half, for me, that's probably our best 
half of the season, most complete performance of the season for 45 minutes. Attacking-wise, we created plenty. We got into loads of good areas. We scored two really good goals. Could have had a couple more. And we learnt in terms of picking up Matt Smith, didn't we? Didn't give him a sniff second half. Um, and yeah, in the end, I thought we ran out fairly comfortable. 3-1 winners. There was a chance right at the end for the substitute who went through one-on-one. -on -one. Jake Turner made a good double save. But yeah, Tom Nichols scored. Dom Jeffrey scored. Tom Nichols should have scored one that was that was easier to put in than he, the one that he did manage. But yeah, really positive performance. Uh, three goals in a game is not something that we're used to saying as Jill's fans. So that's a huge plus. And Ava is pleased because Ashley Nadder's on his back. Ava is pleased because our mate Tom Nichols scored. <laughs> and the Stephen Clements is well and truly up and running. Cannot wait now for Sunday's match day review show. That will be with Reese and also uh, Danny making his second appearance of the weekend from the One Up Top Salford City podcast. So looking forward to that. Uh, should be a good, interesting hour. Looking back on what was a really good performance from the Jules. But until then, enjoy your Saturday night. We will see you Sunday evening. Up the Jules.